I think it, you know, maintains an excitement for me to work with this material that there's always going to be something new and there's always new surprises to be had. Hi, I'm Gio Swaby and this is my exhibition, Fresh Up. This exhibition is a collection of textile portraits celebrating blackness, celebrating womanhood, and from me, a great expression of love and dedication to the people represented. Fresh Up is a Bahamian saying, and it's a compliment you can give to someone when they are wearing something that you really like, they got a new haircut, they got some new shoes. You can see when someone feels good about what they're wearing and the way that they look. It's tied so much to the ethos of this exhibition. Being from the Bahamas, my work highlights my culture, my country, my community. Most of the women are Bahamian and I think it's really reflected in my color palette as well. You know, you can see where I come from. Everyone is familiar with fabric, so being able to see this everyday material used to create an artwork, I think it removes some of the intimidation of being in a museum space, feeling like a person who might not belong there, especially from my own personal perspective of being a black woman and not really seeing myself represented very often in these kinds of spaces. So these portraits are mostly of my family and friends and it starts with a conversation. I consider the physical portraits that are made to be a residue of the conversation that we've had. I walk into a clean studio and then it looks like an explosion when I leave, is what I want to say. So the fabric selection is really intuitive. Sometimes it's just really surprising what colors and patterns can do alongside each other. I'm very specific and particular about where and how on the pattern this will be placed on my works. In the Pretty Pretty series, you can see that there are a lot of loose threads. It's a very intentional part of the work. The side of the canvas that's displayed is really the, the underside. For me, it was really connected to learning to accept imperfections and even celebrating them as a kind of beauty. It's bridging the visual and the conceptual of what's being explored in these works. My work is certainly built upon the work of other textile artists who have come ahead of me. Um, Faith Ringgold, Lisa Butler. I just feel really uh, grateful to be a part of that community and a part of that conversation. Also in an era when textile art is being understood as fine art. Conceptually, my work is informed by black feminist theory. Uh, Bell Hooks is probably one of the greatest influences in my practice. And she has a way of explaining in terms that feel simple, but the message is, is just so great. I wanted to be able to harness that through my work. How do I communicate in a way that doesn't alienate any part of the audience that I want to bring into my practice, that I want to be able to share my work with? It feels like coming home again to see all these works that I made years ago, to be able to see them again all together is really special. My goal with the show is to have that moment of a reflection, of creating this connection for viewers. And one of the most gratifying moments is seeing other Black women and girls come into the gallery space and recognize themselves. They say, this looks like me or someone that I know. And that's really the driving force behind my work. Thank you.